guys, just give me one second, and then we are going to get started on um, Sugar Skulls Take Two. Any of you guys that saw my live yesterday saw that I had um, Little Fingers helping me. So today I'm going to redo it without Little Fingers helping me, and we're going to do um, Sugar Skulls on the front, and then we're going to do a Christmas design on the back. So just give me one second. I just want to share this in a couple groups and then we will get crafty. We can start hearing a bunch of booms in a minute. Give me one second and then um, we will get started on take two for sugar skulls now that I don't have little hands helping me. Okay, I just need to share this to um, one more group um, and then we will get started, 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 started. Where is my group at? Give me one second, guys. One, there it is. One more bling. Okay. Now that I don't have little hands helping me, um, I do have another device that I will be following along with, or at least I will try to follow along with. So if there's any comments or questions, um, just let me know. If any of you guys saw my live yesterday, I did sugar skulls, um, which is why my transfer is already cut up into the, the separate transfer pieces. And I had little hands helping me. And uh, as soon as I turned my back on it, she took her hand and swiped across it. And uh, we had big smudge marks on it. So now that she's asleep and taking a nap, Hopefully she stays asleep. We are going to do Sugar Skulls Take Two on one side of this 10 inch round. And on the back side of my 10 inch round, we're going to do a, um, a Christmas design. Because what I like to do during the holiday season, because I am lazy like that, I will, and there's two little spots up here so I can hang my sign, um, is I'll do a Thanksgiving or a fall sign on this side. And then uh, when the season's over, I'll just take it down and hang it up and then I have a Christmas sign on the back. Pretty genius. So um, if you can see my video, say hi, say hello, um, give me an emoji, frowny face, tell me I suck, do something. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. I'm using Chalkology paste. The paste is like three ounces in each container. And uh, depending on what size project you're doing, you could probably get like, I don't know, 15, 20 projects out of each container. And if, you have, if you're doing a project like I am with multiple colors, I mean, they last forever. Um, and the paste is washable. Like I said, I used the surface yesterday and I washed it off. Um, if you want it permanent, you just have to put a sealer on it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, this is my transfer. He's been used a couple of times, which is why he's looking a little uh, shysty, but our transfers are reusable. So uh, once I wash him off, I stick him back on the backing, which is why I save this sticker backing. So I'm just gonna take him off. I'm gonna stick it on my shirt to fuzz. And the reason why we fuzz is because these are so sticky. Sometimes if you put them on your surface, 
um, they can stick to your surface. And we just don't want to do that. I mean, it'll come off with a magic eraser, but we just don't want to do that. So I'm just pressing my first layer down on my surface, and I'm going to be using white Chalkology paste for this particular layer. And um, let me get my squeegees out. The squeegees are usually this size, and then I just cut mine down to smaller sizes. So depending on what I need, they're just more manageable. And these are just um, silicone squeegees. They last forever. So you can use them for like a gazillion projects. Um, and you can pick whatever colors you want to do your sugar skulls. I have little kids, so um, we don't do anything scary in my house. We always do fun colors. So I'm just going to start, and I'm going to put some white paste on my squeegee. And then I'm just going to smash it on here. And you just want to make sure that you get all of your silk screen areas covered. And if you get too much paste on here, don't worry about it because you can just take your squeegee, scrape it off, keep scraping, move it over to the other side. And then when you're completely done with it, if you still have excess, you just scrape it up and you just stick it back into your container. So I'm just using my white and I'm just scraping it all over just to make sure that I have all of my silkscreen areas completely covered. And see, I have a lot of excess, so I'm just gonna stick it back into my white. And if you have inks already, you can ink on anything that you would um, use paste on. Um, and same with uh, paste, but paste is not permanent. So if you put paste on fabric, like if you're doing a pillow cover, you could put paste, see this is what it looks like right now. You could um, put paste on a fabric cover or like a pillow cover, and then you can wash the pillow cover and the paste will come back off. But if you put ink on it, um, it's not coming off, it, it's on. So now I'm just gonna pull my transfer back and I'm starting from top to bottom. You always wanna pull your transfers off top to bottom or uh, bottom to top or left to right. You don't wanna pull diagonal because if you pull diagonal, you can stretch your transfer out. And I'm just gonna stick it off over to the side right here on my table until I'm ready to wash it. So um, what I'm gonna do here too on here is with the sugar skull, there's also some little add-on pieces to like make a little design down here at the bottom. So while this is drying, it dries pretty quick, but while it's drying, I'm going to, um, move that over to the side. I'm gonna do one of these little add-on pieces down here at the bottom while this dries, and then I'll move on to that part up there too. And you can, I mean, you can do your designs however which way you want it. Um, you don't have to use the add-on pieces if you don't want to, um, but for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm gonna use the whole transfer. And then I'm just gonna start by putting white down here. And like I said, um, there is no rhyme or reason. You just pick whatever colors you want to uh, use. And if you like, like if you wanted to make a t-shirt with this sugar school transfer, um, you would use the same transfer as I'm using right now. Like if I wanted to go back as soon as I finish this and make a t-shirt, I would just wash my transfer up, wait until it was dry, and then once it's dry, it's, it's ready to be used um, on the next go around. I'm just gonna scrape my excess, I'm just putting my excess back in here. Put my lid on here. Move this off to the side. And then I'm just gonna peel this piece off right here. This is literally, it's so easy. I mean, it's really, it really is that easy. I know a lot of times people say something is really easy and then you try it and it's like a total epic fail. This is really that easy. If you guys um, join my VIP, you'll actually see videos over there of my one-year-old helping me. Well, obviously she needs a little bit of help, but like my six-year-old is completely able to do this all by himself without any help. So here's where we're at so far with um, the first layer of our sugar skull. And see this layer right here is almost dry. Um, usually I would have a blow dryer, but I'm just gonna fan it off really quick and then in like one second it'll, it'll be dry. By the time I get my next layer ready, it'll be dry. And you just wanna make sure it's dry so that when you put your next layer down on top of it, um, you don't wanna peel your paint up. And if it's dry, um, it's not really gonna pull up. So I'm just gonna pull my next layer up. See, all of these transfers are made for different layers for each color that you wanna do. So I'm gonna pull my next 
layer off and see it's sticky. I'm gonna put it on my shirt to fuzz it. And when I say put it on my shirt, I'm literally like just putting it on my shirt to get some fuzz on the background. And this fuzz just makes it so it's not so sticky. And then when I wash this, like when I go to stick my transfer, I just wash it with warm water. When I wash my transfer, um, why won't it let me see anything? Um, when I wash my transfer, all this fuzz that I just got on the back, and if you get any paint or anything like that, see I just got a little bit of paint on there, it'll come right off. Okay, so this is dry. See, I'm able to rub it. And it's chalk paste, which, I mean, people think chalk, oh, you're gonna be able to wipe it off. No, you can't wipe it off. Um, I use a magic eraser to, uh, or a, a scrubber, a sponge, scrubber, what am I, to? A sponge to, um, to wipe this off. So now I'm just gonna lay down my next layer and I'm using um, the eyeballs and his nose as my guide to uh, put him on here. So, and if I look through here, I can kind of see a little bit through my transfer, so I can kind of see like up here where there's a little bit of white. I got it on a little bit crooked. So I'm just gonna slowly like peel him up. Hopefully I don't peel up any paint, which I didn't. I'm just gonna peel him up and then I'm going to um, just retransfer him a little bit so I can try to get it as straight as possible. And I think that's probably good. So I'm just putting it on, getting all the bubbles out. And then I think for my next color, I think I will use grape soda. It's a bright purple. Hopefully the bright purple will show up against this black. And I don't have a whole lot to cover on here, so I'm just going to use a smaller squeegee. Um, I did take my big squeegee and, and cut it down. So I'm just putting a little bit of paste on my squeegee, and I'm just going to cover all the silk screen areas and see there's not a whole lot of them. So this one is easy. I'm just covering them up. And you just wash your transfers off with warm water. Just stick them in the sink and uh, run some water over them. And the sticky is going to go away, but as soon as um, you dry them, you dry them sticky side up just on a towel. Well, I just put them on a towel. As soon as you dry them, um, the sticky comes back. So I got all my silkscreen areas covered with my purple. I'm just going to start at the top and I am just going to pull my transfer off. I'll stick it on my table right here until I'm ready to wash it. And see, and there is my purple so far. And to give my purple an opportunity to dry, I am now going to do the, um, the next portion of this little add-on down here. Well, here's my transfer. It's looking a little rough because he's been used quite a bit. I'm going to stick it on my shirt to get some fuzz on it. And then I am going to stick him on here. Oh, wait, there's the circle. Who's upside down? Is he upside down? Yes, totally upside down. And what I do is I usually, um, once I put it down, I try to uh, where is it at? I'm trying to line it up on here so I can kind of see where. Okay, I can see these. Nope, this goes in the center. I can't really tell if I'm putting this on straight or not. It looks like it is, but then like when I look through here, it looks like it's, um, Oh well, we'll just put it on there anyways and just, like I said, if it's on the back wrong or whatever, it doesn't matter. I can just wash it off and 
and redo it. I'm just covering my silk screen areas with my purple. And then now I'm going to peel it up and, oh good, it looks like I did it right. I think when I was doing my, my video yesterday, I totally put it on backwards. See, there he is so far. I'm just going to take this, just dry it off a little bit. And um, you can see a little bit up here where, um, I'll show you in just a sec, where my, um, my white bled a little bit. So I can take a wet paper towel in this area right here. Um, I'll probably use a Q-tip. I have like a, the pointy tip Q-tips. And I can just get it wet and I can just go in between right here and it'll clean that up. I mean, for me, it's not really that noticeable. So I'll probably just leave it alone. But if I was doing this um, to sell, because as designers, we can sell our finished work. If, if I was going to sell it, I would absolutely make sure that that was cleaned up. Okay, I'm just going to give my purple just a little pinch more to dry. I can see where it's a little bit glistening right here around the eye. So I can tell it's still wet. So I'm just going to fan him off. He'll dry. And then as soon as I'm done on this side, I'm going to flip him over. And we're going to do a Christmas design on the back. That way I can, once Thanksgiving fall is over and Christmas time is over, I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to be ready to go with my Christmas design. Okay, so I'm going to start working on my next layer. And we've got two more layers to do on our sugar skull. So I think I'm going to do this layer right here. Fan them off just a little bit more. Um, as you can see the color on here, and this is because I, I've used this transfer many times before, and sometimes your ink or your paste, depending on what color you can use, will stain your transfer. But um, it's just a stain. It's not going to show up the next time I, um, when I put this down, the inks are the stained part. It's not going to show up on here. So I'm just going to stick it on my shirt again to fuzz it off. And we can get about 10 uses, 10 to 12 uses out of each transfer, depending on... Um, how gentle you are with your transfers. Um, I have some transfers where I've been able to use it uh, probably a good 20 times before it starts to, to really lose its stickiness. And um, you can still use them even if they use, lose their sticky. You just, um, I use painter's tape to use it. So I'm just going to put this down, and then I'm going to use my bright green. And I'm just going to cover my silk screen areas. My green is a little bit dry, but um, I don't have time to add water to it, so I'm just going to make it work. Oh, I can hear my little one. She woke up. Oh, it's okay. She's not crying, so as long as she's not crying, she's okay. I just want to at least get this one finished before she comes in here because as soon as she comes in here, she's going to be like, oh, we're crafting, Mom. Usually when I'm doing a paste project, because the paste is non-toxic, and it's, well, so is the ink. The ink is non-toxic also, but because it's washable, I usually let her help me because if she gets paint off the side of the transfer or whatever, it's very easy for me to just clean it up and wash it off. So here's my green. I just want to get some of the extra off because that's what's taking it. When I leave it really thick like that, that's what's giving it. I'm just going to pull it from the top and I'm just going to slowly pull my transfer off. I'm going to stick it to the side. I hear you, baby. I'll be there in just a minute. And here's my third color. Isn't this looking awesome? And I got, we got, I'm going to do one more layer down here and then we'll have two more layers left and then our sugar skull will be done. I hear you. She's like, I know you're crafting in there. I know what you're doing in there, mom. And you're doing it without me. I'm just going to set this down on my green and then I'm just going to cover these little small silk screen areas. Really quick, really easy. And this is one of those things if you've got everything all done 
and out and ready to go, you could probably like whip this out in a good, I don't know, maybe 10 minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna, we got one more layer on our sugar skull and then he's gonna be done. I'm just gonna dry him, give him a little extra air. And then um, we got one more layer for our sugar skull and one more layer for here. And then our sugar skull will be done. And then um, I'm gonna take a little break so I can go get Miss Lila Mae. She's in her crib right now. I can hear her in there crying. I hear you. And then uh, I will show you joy to the world on the back side of this. Okay, so I'm just gonna lay down. This is the last layer of our sugar skull. And I'm just gonna line the eyes up. And this small part down here, this white part down here, and the eyes up here to help me um, get it on as straight as I can. Okay, and I'm gonna use Peacock Blue for my final color on this. I love this color blue. This is one of our new colors that just came out with our newest release. Such a pretty color. I just love it. Okay, so I'm going to cover up my silk screen areas. And just, do you have any excess? You just scrape it up. Okay, and I'm just going to scrape my excess up, stick it back in here because I can use it on my next project. I'm going to take my transfer and I'm just going to pull it from the top. I'm going to pull it right off, stick it right here on the edge of my table so you can see it. And I'm going to have one more layer for this part down here. And then the sugar skull is done. Oh dear, did I put this on the wrong side? Yes, I did. Okay. I accidentally put this um, part of my transfer on the wrong side of the backing yesterday when I put it down. So I'm just gonna lay this down and from doing this transfer before, I know that these little droplets go um, inside on here so I can kind of see if you hold it up close you can kind of see underneath the transfer so you can kind of see where the different droplets are going to go and that's just what I'm using as my guide to um, put this down. So I'm just going to cover this up. I'm just covering my silk screen areas up with the blue and then I'm going to just peel this up and then, ta-da, our sugar skull is done. My other device that I'm using, I can't see any comments. So if there's any questions, um, send me a friend request or send me a PM um, and I will get back to you. I will go back through the live to watch it as well too. So if there's any questions or comments there, I can respond to them. But if um, you have anything urgent, um, just send me a friend request. I love to have crafty friends on my page and uh, I'll get back to you. So here's our sugar skull. Isn't it awesome? Super easy, super easy. So he's gonna dry and while he's drying, I'm gonna flip him over and we're gonna do joy to the world on the other side. And I'm actually gonna do him um, in just one second. I'm gonna go get the baby out of the crib while this dries. And then as soon as I get back, it'll be completely dry and we are going to flip him over and we are going to do joy to the world. And I've used this one before, which is why it's cut off. So if you give me like two minutes, we will be right back. But I'm gonna leave him here just for a second so I can go get her and we will be back in just a minute.
Now is I why this is drying I am going to put my dirty transfers see these are the dirty ones I just had them stuck to the side of my table I'm just gonna stick them in some water so they can soak so the paint will come off a, a little bit easier while we start working on our next project wash these off. Um, you just use warm water and the warm water will take it right off. So I'm going to take these squeegees, take all my dirty transfers, and I'm just going to stick them in my sink and then we'll start on the next project and then I will wash these when we're completely done. I have those soaking in the water. I'm going to show you how easy this is to do because I am holding my baby in my hands. And so I'm going to show you how easy it is. See, this is completely dry. And now if I want to make him permanent, I have a, um, let me show you what I have. I have it right here. Um, I just use, this is what I use. It's, it's just like a, a Valspar top coat. And this will make this permanent. So as soon as I'm done with this, I will spray it with this and then let it dry and then this isn't going anywhere. I mean, as you can see, I'm rubbing my hands over it and it's really dry. So, I mean, it's not gonna just like wipe off. You have to use a, um, a magic eraser or even, even a, a sponge, depending on what your surface is to um, take this off. Okay, so it's dry. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to flip this over and we are going to do a Christmas design on the back. Let me dust some of the, um, the dust off. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to do another one. You want to help? Yeah. Okay. You want to stand? Okay. I'll hold you. I'm going to hold you. Okay. So this one is one that I've done before, and it's called Joy to the World. This is one of our Christmas transfers that just came out. It's a brand new one, and it's, it's really cute. You can... You can um, do our transfers on t-shirts, um, wood, metal, plastic, pretty much anything you want. And a lot of our surfaces are made like this where you can do a design on either side. They're double-sided. So this is with the Joy. It'll actually be a lot closer, just so you can see it. And this is a Christmas wreath with some um, pretty red holly. And then um, down here it'll say Joy to the World. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to start by um, I'm going to start with my wreath, so I can center, so I can center the rest of this around my wreath. And I think I'm going to do it all in white, I think, and then um, my wreath will be green and red. Or maybe I'll do my joy. See, this is when it turns into a science fair project for me because I can never remember. starts to turn into a science fair project with me because I can never remember what I did before on this. And I think if I do it red, the red might be a little bit dark. I'm going to do white so it'll really pop. 
And then I can use red ribbon up here just to, uh, to give it that Christmassy feeling. Okay, so I'm gonna take my, my wreath because he's what I'm using to center. He's the O for my joy. What's the matter? Here's my Christmas design. So I'm gonna set it on here. I'm just gonna put it right there. I'm gonna get my green. Open up my green. Yeah. And I'm gonna use my squeegee. Um, you can see I haven't used my green in a while, so it's kind of, the pigments have kind of separated a little bit. So I'm just gonna take my squeegee and I am going to just mix it up just a little bit to get those colors back in there. Ah, man down. And then um, I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding the baby in my hand, but this just shows you how easy this really is. So I'm doing my green, and you just want to cover your silk screen areas. You want to help? Okay, you can help me in just a minute. Usually when I'm doing a paste project, um, she gets to help. So I'm going to when I start to do the next section right here, I'm going to let her help. Okay, so I just put my wreath down and I'm going to pull it up. You want to pull your transfer up top to bottom because if you do it left to right, you can um, stretch your transfer out. So I'm going to pull this up and I'm going to let this dry a little bit. And then while that's drying, I am going to um, work on this section down here. That way, because I'm going to have to layer, some of my transfer is going to cover this area right here and this is still pretty wet but it dries pretty quick. Usually I would use a blow dryer and just blow dry it and it would be blow, it would dry in a good five seconds flat. So I'm pulling off my transfer, my joy to the world transfer. Like I said, I save the backs. Okay, hold on, you can help. Um, I save the backs because these are reusable. You can, um, hold on, we can wash the transfers and use them a good 10 times. Um, I have transfers that I have used um, a good 12 times. So just depending on how rough you are with your transfers, um, depends on how long they last. So I'm just setting this one down and we're gonna use white chalk paste on this one. And um, my little one-year-old assistant, Lila May, is gonna help me. That's how easy this stuff is. Or maybe not, she seems to be sidetracked right now. Come here. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna squeeze her up here so you can see her. Okay, right here. Right there, yeah, good job. Yeah, good job. Get all over. Yeah, all over. Okay, there you go. Good job. So I just colored, covered my silk screen areas and I'm just gonna take my squeegee and I'm just gonna scrape up my excess and I'm gonna stick it back into my container because I can save that and I can use it for my next time. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my transfer right here and I'm gonna pull left to right to just pull it straight up. I'm gonna stick it off to the side and then um, you can see right here where there's a little bit right here where she got a little paint and some up here. Um, I will take a wet paper towel and I will show you with the wet paper towel um, how easy this is to get off. This is almost dry up here. See my white is drying pretty quick. It's almost drying a lot faster than my green. So I'm just gonna fan it off just a little bit and then I'm going to, um, I'll do my J and my Y. And then we'll go back and we'll add our red berries onto uh, to the green. You guys probably can't see it, but maybe if I hold it up extra close, you can where it kind of glistens that it shows me it's still a little bit wet. And those that have just joined on the back side of this, if you go back and watch the replay, I did a sugar skull. So what I do is I always do a fall design on one side, and then I flip it over and I do a Christmas design on the back side. 
And I do this with all of my surfaces. So come Easter, or Easter, so um, come Christmas, all I have to do is flip my design over. And I do the same with Valentine's and Easter's decorations. I'll do a Valentine's Day one on the front, and then I'll do an Easter one on the other side. And so I will just switch out my decorations. I'll put one up, and then um, as soon as the holidays change, I just sw switch it over. I consider myself pretty genius. Okay, here, work on this one. Okay. As you can see, Lila May is uh, chalking my J for me. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use take that one off. And what I'm gonna do is I am going to, um, you put it on my shirt. I'm trying to uh, fuzz the back of it. You wanna get your um, transfer just a little bit fuzzy. And then I'm just gonna stick it on here and I can't really tell it looks good I'm gonna try not she got some paint on the back side of this so I'm just gonna to try to hold this up just a little bit so I don't get um, the white paint on the green and I'm just putting a little bit of paint chalk paste on my squeegee and I'm just gonna cover up my uh oh did it fall I'm gonna to try to cover up my J she was putting stuff no no not on that one mommy needs that one no, no, not that one. She's, here, color this one. She's putting paste all over my transfers. I'm like, I don't, this one was okay because it was white because I was getting ready to use it. But I'm gonna, thank you. I can see where she, uh, and you'll see it too. As soon as I pull this up, you'll see where she, uh, she got paste on the transfer because you don't want your paste to dry on the transfer because if it dries on the transfer, uh, your transfer will pull it up. So I'm just gonna slowly pull it up a little bit and if that happens, you can um, just get your finger wet or use like a wet paper towel and just go over your letter. And then um, anywhere where it's pulled up, the, um, the paint, see on the back side of my transfer, you can see a little bit where it's pulled up because it dried. Um, you just go over it with a little bit with a wet paper towel and then that wet paper towel will uh, will help fill that in. Okay, so I'm going to get my Y. So you can see right here where she uh, she was painting on my transfers, but that's okay because I can, it'll all come off. It'll all wash off. So I'm just going to put it on my shirt to get it fuzzy because it's really sticky. And then I am going to try to, um, I'm just eyeballing this. We do have placement tape that uh, you can use on here. And the placement tape helps. So if you're doing a design like this, um, you can get your letters on straight. Yeah. I think that's a little bit high up. So I'm just going to drop it down just a little bit. Our placement tape would really help with this right now. No, 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 hold up, back up, here, right here, color on here, 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 you want this one, okay, well, I'm going to cover it, and then you can have it back, Mom, what is it that you want, you want the Y, you want my Y back? I'm gonna give it back to you in just one second. So I'm just gonna pull this up and you wanna to pull top to bottom or left to right. And, um, here you go, here, right there. And so you can see on here, um, right there, but that's because she, uh, you can't really see her. I don't know if I move this or not, if you can see her or not. She's a, uh, she's, here I'm gonna turn it so you can see her just really quick. You can see her, um, adding her artwork. She is just painting all over. Oh dear. Houston, my thing is falling down. We're about to have a, a, a crafting emergency here. Oh, there we go. Okay, let me get it back straight. So she's actually like painting all over my transfers, which is why um, I have that little spot right there. So here we have Joy to the World so far, and I have one last piece to put on here, and that is the... Um, the red, and this is just the little jolly dots. 
on here. And this paint is non-toxic, and because it's non-toxic, um, she can eat it, she can play in it, she can do whatever she wants with it. Okay, so I'm going to put this on here, and I am going to, I'm just eyeballing it right now to see where, um, I'm just trying to make sure I'll, when I did it last time, my red holly dots on here were, uh, they were, I completely missed the wreath altogether. So it was like totally lopsided. It was like, oh, oh, that's supposed to be on, my dots are supposed to be on my wreath. Oops. So I'm just going to kind of put this on here. Hopefully it looks okay, and if it doesn't, oh well. So I'm just going to use my red now. Move this up here so she can't see it. See, I'm just going to get some red on my squeegee, and then I'm just going to cover up all the little silk screen areas. And then um, I will post a finished picture of this in the VIP too, on both sides so you can see the actual finished project. Okay, so I'm just gonna put my excess back in here and then I'm put my lid back on my Chalkology paste. I'm using paste. Um, paste is not permanent unless you want it to be. Um, I showed you the sealer, so if you wanna make it permanent, you can. And I mean, if for any crafters out there that uh, make their own crafts and do crafts fairs, I have a lot of people on my team, but that's what they do. They don't sell any kind of supplies. They, um, they become designers strictly for the designer discount. And then they sell, um, they create and just sell their finished projects. And you can, um, here it is. They sell their finished projects. And I mean, you can switch up your colors. So you can use the same transfer 10 different times with 10 different colors and have something completely different every time. So it's really cool. So here is our joy to the world. You can see I got some white on here. It's on my hands too. So I'm gonna get a wet paper towel and I'm gonna wipe that off. And then I will hang this with red ribbon on this side. And I have a cute little Christmas design. And then on the back side is my, my, uh, my sugar skull. So I will hang him up and then as soon as it's time, you know, after Thanksgiving, I will flip it over and then I will have a Christmas design hanging up. So maybe get a wet paper towel. Oh dear, Lila May. I'm gonna get a wet paper towel and then um, clean this up and then I will show it to you. And then if you would like to join me in the VIP to see the finished pictures, um, I would love to have you join me. Okay, I'm gonna get a paper towel. I'm just gonna get it wet really quick. I just got a paper towel. It's not super wet, just a little bit wet. I probably should get it a little bit wetter. But I'm just going to go over right here and just wipe off the, um, the excess paint. See, it just comes, it just comes right off. I keep getting like white dust spots on here because my hands are wet. But there we have it. We have joy to the world on one side, and then we have sugar skulls on the other side. And I'm going to hang this up with the red ribbon, and then voila, I have a Christmas design. So um, if anybody has any questions, um, I can't see them on the device that I'm, that I'm on. So if there's questions there, I'm not ignoring you. I just can't see them. So I will, um, I'll go back through the feed and answer any questions that you have. Um, I'd love to have you in my VIP. That's where I post all of like my deals and steals. If I, if we um, ever do any sales or anything like that, that's where I post my sales. Ad is in my VIP. Um, I also have an opportunity group if you're interested in possibly becoming a designer, or if you just want to know more about the company, um, just say opportunity, or just send me a friend request or send me a message. I love to have crafty friends, and uh, I just like to have friends in general because I'm a mom. Um, and so I'd love to share with you. Um, and if you'd be so kind as to, I don't know, like my video, comment on my video, share my video, um, I would totally appreciate it. So thank you for joining me for this afternoon craft. Um, I am Rietta Price, Chalk with Re. 
and my assistant Lila, who is making a huge, huge mess right there. But that's okay, because hers my princess, and I love her, so I let her. So, um, oh, I can see on my phone. When I turn this, I can see. Hi, Olivia, if you're still watching, um, no, the sugar skull is not hard to do at all. Um, if you go back and watch the replay, you will actually see, um, you'll actually see me do the, the sugar skull. The transfer is in four different layers. Each layer has its own color. So you put one layer down, you do that color, you pull it up, and then you put the next layer down. And, sorry, I just totally spit on this thing. Um, you put the next layer down, and then you do another color. You pull it up, and then you put the third layer down, do another color. So you're doing each color at, at one time. And it's basically, a, we call them transfers, but they're silk screen, um, they're silk screen stencils is what they are. And they're reusable. We are the only ones who have sticky, sticky reusable transfers. So you put them down, it's super easy to do. Um, and in the VIP too, hi Leslie. Um, I also have um, a lot of other videos and how to's and all that good stuff too on how I did the sugar skull. So I am going to um, get some ribbon in this and hang it up so I can get some pictures of it. And then I am going to clean up Miss Lila May who is just having a grand old time over here. Um, and uh, then if there's any comments or questions, I will get back to you and I will, um, I'll let you know. So thank you for joining me on this fine Wednesday. Yes, it is Wednesday. And um, until next time. Thank you.